So good afternoon. Good morning to the others. On behalf of the Solutions Plus team, my name is Sarah Arrojado and I'm from Pasig Transport, the transport office of the Pasig City Government working on sustainable transport initiatives. I am pleased to welcome you all to the day four of the Pasig City training on e-mobility. This is the last day of our training and this is also co-organized with Cleaner Asia, which is a Solutions Plus consortium partner. So this session is run as a Zoom meeting, and so we will start off our session with basic to make you feel comfortable with the platform and share what's in store during our sessions. First off, please note that this session is being recorded. The recording and the presentations will be available afterward. We have muted everyone by default, so the session won't be accidentally disrupted. But when you want to talk later during the discussion, just click in the bottom bar to mute or unmute yourself. If you encounter any challenges on that, please just send a message to our host. This is a Zoom meeting and as opposed to a Zoom webinar, you can choose to have your camera on and off. However, to minimize disruptions, kindly switch it off in the meantime and we will have a question and answer later during which you can switch it back on. If you have any questions, just submit it via the chat box. You're welcome to use the chat box throughout for your comments and questions. We will have a dedicated time for questions later when we will address them. So the speakers are also going to refrain from answering you directly. So we won't have two simultaneous discussions both here and in the chat box. And to ease our discussions later, uh, can we ask you to rename yourselves? So starting off with your Zoom handle with your name and then your affiliation. We see this in aiding us in knowing where the questions are coming from in the chat box. And lastly, this session is going to be bilingual as we foster a welcoming environment for discussions. So feel free to speak and ask questions in Tagalog. So for the outlook for the week, this is the last day of our training. So for the past four days, starting in November, on November 9, we talked about the operation and maintenance of EVs, where we discussed the basics of an e vehicle. So this included a live demo by Tojo Motors, which showed the different parts of an e vehicle and its basic care and maintenance. Next, on the second day, we focused on policies, where we discussed the policy tools for local authorities in several cities the ASEAN EV standards and guidelines, as well as case studies of regulations in Malaysia and in India, culminating with the Philippine case with the newly issued LTO administrative order on e vehicles. In the next session, the focus was on the basics of EV charging and charging infrastructure, where different dimensions, including the technical, regulatory, and operational aspects of EV charging and the associated charging networks were discussed. <clears throat> and today is the last day of the training where we will talk about e-mobility transition at the city level. So thank you all for being here today and also to those who have attended the previous sessions. Our agenda today, we will be discussing the e-mobility at the city, e-mobility transition at the city level. The goal of this session is to support the decision makers and to serve as a platform for both the local and the national government in initiating discussions on community strategy development for e-mobility transition. Here we will talk about how the EV transition will benefit public transport operators and how it can help with their livelihood, the different government programs available for public transport operators and drivers if they would like to shift to using e-mobility vehicles, as well as the common myths and misconceptions about e-mobility that need to be dispelled. How can we effectively communicate the benefits of e-mobility in terms of livelihood and also in the areas of health and the environment? So these topics will be tackled in the presentations today by the speakers you see on your screen. Start, let's have a bit of an interaction Okay, so to start, which sector are you from? Are you from the local government, the national government, from an NGO, or the academe perhaps? Do we also have participants from 
the private sector here with businesses. Now I'm glad that a lot of participants today are coming from the private sector as well. Okay, so maybe we can move on to the next question. Do you own or operate an EV? So majority of our participants do not own an EV at the moment, but they would want to buy an EV. And a few are still skeptical about EV vehicles. So later we will have a discussion about dispelling some misconceptions about EV vehicles that hopefully can convince you to shifting to e-mobility. And almost a third of our participants own an EV. Next question, what are your main concerns about EV vehicles? So you can just type in your answers there. Now we see some answers regarding price, that it's expensive, the parking, the upfront cost, the mileage, and in terms of battery, the disposal of damaged batteries. And then there's also the after sales service. Oh, well, there's also the reliability of brands. There are quite a few brands already in the country. And I think we'll just see an increase of it as e-mobility picks up. Okay, so I think that's it. We will discuss these your concerns later during the discussions. You can also bring it up during our question and answer later in our session. Okay, so just to introduce myself again, I am Sara Arojado and I am an environmental transport planner at the city government of Pasig under the Pasig Transport Office, specializing in sustainable mobility, and I'm also working on e-mobility in the city, including the Solutions Plus project. So later, we will be joined by Anton C., the head of Pasig Transport Office in our Q&A session. So for those who are new today, Solutions Plus is a consortium of over 50 partners and associated and support partners, and is supported by the European Union. PASIG is a part of this consortium as a city partner, where other cities include Kathmandu, Hanoi, and Nanjing in Asia. The project involves coming up with innovative business models, vehicles, services, policies, and operations that help boost all types of electric mobility.